Well, good morning. It's Sunday morning. I hope you take time to worship our Lord today. In fact, spend a whole day worshiping. He deserves it. Just a couple quick reminders. Number one, we are live at five today, and we have a very special guest speaker, Carla Spiney of Carla Spiney Ministries. Uh, Carla is from Ghana, Africa. He's a great teacher. I look forward to you getting a chance to meet him. Please try to make it here live. If you can't, well, then, of course, watch us live at 5 uh, on YouTube or Facebook. The other thing is I want to make an announcement that we, we have planned to start our Sunday morning services at, at, uh, on, on December 6th at 10.30 a.m. December 6th, 10.30 a.m. We're still going to have our evening service also. So uh, plan on getting that in your calendar. I know a lot of you watch us, and because of your schedules, you can't, you can't uh, come worship except in the morning. So uh, please do so. We are, we are in the process of having our children's ministries ready and everything that goes with that. So please come bring the kids. All righty. So now we see Israel is now moving through the wilderness. All right. They're instructed by God when to stop when to start, when to stay, when to move. And when they stop, God rests himself, all right, as a cloud over the tabernacle. And when the cloud lifts, well, then they know it's time to move. And they followed the cloud. When it stopped, that's where they camped. When it lifted, they moved again. And finally, they leave the area of Sinai. All right, so we're going to pick up in Numbers chapter 10. Have your Bibles, have your pads. Have your pens, okay? We're in Numbers 10 now. We kind of skipped ahead. It was starting in verse 11. It says this, On the 20th day of second month of second year, the cloud lifted up from the tabernacle of the covenant of the law. When the Israelites set out from the desert of Sinai and traveled from one place to, from place to place until the cloud came to rest in the desert of Paran, they set out this first time at the Lord's command through Moses. So each time they had, they'd have to have the ark before them. They put it before them. They'd pack everything up like we said, and they would move forward. And the ark was there for protection and to worship. So in verse 33, so they set out from the mountain of the Lord and traveled for three days. The ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them during those three days to find them a place to rest. The cloud of the Lord was over them by day, and when they set out from the camp, whenever the ark set out, Moses said, Rise up, Lord. May your enemies be scattered. May your foes flee before you. Whenever it came to the rest, he said, Return, Lord, to the countless thousands of Israel. So they, they, they continued to go through. And they are protected by God. And their enemies fleed from them. If there were issues, they conquered them. And so what happens now is they come to the land of Canaan, which would have been the promised land. And they're coming near it. So they decide to send out the spies. And I know a lot of you know this. Now, we're doing a study on, on the Ark of the Covenant, so I'm not going to get into the great details of this, though it's very good, all right? But they sent out the spies. They sent out, remember, they sent out all the spies two at a time. Uh, uh, I mean, in groups of two. And we know, we know that only Joshua and Caleb came back with a good report, a positive report. All the rest of them said, oh, we're, we're like grasshoppers compared to them. They're all giants. They, they'll kill us and, and negative stuff. Oh, the world's going to end. Oh, boy, do we, do we see that today, right? We see that today in the election. Uh -huh. It's crazy. You know what? God's in control. Let me, let me just say this. Time out. God's in control. So let's not worry about stuff, all right? So anyway, uh, they, give, they give a positive report. And God is angry with the rest of them. They show such lack of faith. And so much it tells us this as we pick up in verse 37. These men who were responsible for spreading the bad report about the land were struck down and died of a plague before the Lord. Of the men who went to explore the land, only Joshua son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jephana, survived. All right, only the two that came back with a positive report. 
and, and, uh, and God, for the punishment of the people, lack of faith, would not let them enter the promised land for 40 years. And that's why they wandered around the wilderness for 40 years, because God refused to let them enter because of their lack of faith. All right? And they decide, well, they're going to take manners in their own hands. But guess what? That's a story for tomorrow. So please join us live at 5 today. All right? Father God, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We give you thanks. Oh, you are such a great and wonderful, awesome God. And when we see the things you do, Lord God, you are so consistent. We see your love. We see your mercy. We see your long-suffering, that patience that only you have. And we ask you, Lord God, as we continue to this study, that you put it deep in our hearts, that we can refer back to it as we go through the struggles we go through in this walk today. We thank you for your love, and we praise you in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Live at 5. Please try to be here. God bless. Bye-bye.